Welcome! In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your client list into your Incom built-in CRM. Before we begin, make sure that you have your client list ready in an Excel spreadsheet and saved as a CSV file. If you have clients or leads previously saved in a different CRM, there should be an option to export your client list in a CSV file. Remember, different CRMs export and import contact files in different formats. So your contact file was exported and saved in a way that most likely doesn't completely match our system requirements. So before we upload the client list into your CRM, we need to configure the format of your CSV file. Here's an example of a CSV file that perfectly fits our system requirements. Please use identical wording for the column titles as shown in the attached sample file. If you are from Canada, you can have postal code and province as your column titles. If you're from the US, you can replace those two with zip code and state instead. Remove any commas, extra spaces, and any other special characters on the file. Make sure that there are no special characters in the first name, last name, city, state, country, postal code, or zip code fields, including special characters like parentheses, exclamation marks, the at symbol, dollar symbol, and all the rest of the special characters that I'm going to show on the screen. Please do not enter more than one email address or phone number in each column. The email address is a required field in order to upload the list. Contacts without a valid email address cannot be uploaded, so if necessary, please create a fake email address as in the sample file here. Phone number also has to be in the format of what I'll show in the screen now. So please delete any extra symbols, numbers, or blank spaces in front or at the end of the number. Make sure that you delete any empty rows, unneeded texts, or special characters and leave only the contact information. If you have columns with empty pieces of information, in this case I have company and notes, which are completely empty, it's best to remove them from your list so that it doesn't get carried over to your built-in CRM. Once that's done, make sure to save the file as a CSV file. Once you're done editing the file, you're ready to upload it to your dashboard. So let's head over to our real estate website. We're going to access our dashboard. So we're going to scroll down to the very bottom of our website page, click on user login, implement our name or email and password, and then click on login. From the dashboard, we're going to click on communication, clients, and then from here, you should see a button at the top right that says bulk client upload. We're going to go ahead and click this button. We're going to browse for the file that we initially saved. And then if you've already created groups within your CRM, as you can see here, I've created a ton of different groups. By default, you will already have renter, buyer and seller, buyer and seller as your default system group. So feel free to add this contact list in one of those corresponding categories. Once that's done, you're just going to click on next. And here we're going to select the corresponding field from the drop down list that best fits the information within that row. So the first row identifies the first name. We're going to click on first name. Second is last name, third is email, and you're just going to do the same thing for the rest of the fields. Scroll down to the bottom, make sure that the checkbox don't upload first line is checked off because the first line is just the title of your file and we don't need that carried over to your CRM. So make sure that this part is checked off. Once that's done, you're going to submit your file. Now you should see a prompt that says your import was done successfully. Click here to check the import. You should see an import log that looks like this. You'll notice that this note section says this email already exists. That's simply because I've used the same CSV file in the past for demonstrative purposes. In your case, if you've uploaded the same contact information twice, it will alert you that the email already exists. However, it will only send out emails to the same email address once. To access your entire list of clients, you can click on communication and clients.